Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of trend reservation system and this is again a JSP and servlet project so uh, for the front end it's using uh, JSP to render the data and uh, HTML CSS uh, to design the application so if, you, if, I, if, if I explore some uh, packages here, some folders here uh, you can see under the web we have a front end which we have a CSS, some CSS and some CSS file for a designing images that image that we are using into this project and JSP files um, this JSP we are using to render the data from the backend and uh, it's using HTML CSS and bootstrap uh, to get the CSS styling and the front-end handling and for the backend it's using controller as a server side like it's using servlet and we have a uh, MBC uh, architecture implemented like you can see the controller is there model is there so it's following mbc and it's a maven project so handling form.xml as well here so let's run the application and check how can you the first thing how can you operate the application and what are the features and functionality into this application so just watch this demo carefully because if you want to buy this project from code one and after uh, configuration by the remote team uh, you have to follow this step in order to execute the application First thing we have to make sure we have our database is running in the backend. So as a database, we are using MySQL Workbench here to get the data of any table. Let's say you want to see the database uh, username and the password for the user. So just right click on the user table, select the first option. You will be able to see the data over here. Okay. And for now I'm hiding the information. Okay. So this is dummy data and uh, you can use it uh, while you operating the application okay so in this application we have four tables booking table train and train type and the user table user table contain three types of users the first is admin uh, sorry two types of user the first is admin you can see the role id one is the admin user and two as a customer okay so uh, this is the information about the database and now let's run the application so how can you run your application just launch your eclipse uh, where you have done the configuration of the application and then this is your root folder so right click on this folder go to run as run on server select a server configured server it should be tomcat 8.5 click on next click on finish when you do this it will launch your browser on which browser it will use the default configured browser in your machine so here what is the features and functionality we have in this application so this is your welcome page and the image is there okay we have a search train option here we can search the train and this is this data is coming from the database only so let's say i want to search by uh, from here to like it's asking about the location so let me share i'll enter the location from and location two i just search it and you can see the data is filtered now and it's showing me the records available available seats and all so uh, the search train is there and then we have a sign up option so a customer can assign can do the sign up so let's say uh, i'm just entering some dummy data here as a customer and we have a calendar for date of birth so make sure while you're entering the data you are going to select the date from here only because it's using some kind of validation into the backend so let me select a dov over here not 15. Not five let's say 97 is okay and now I can enter contact number so any 10 digit number so make sure you are using this kind of uh, format while you're entering the data otherwise you might get an issue related to uh, validation right so I just sign up here <laughs> now if you check if you want to check the validations you can uh, do this like the user cannot be this field are required so we are using proper validation as well but that user is registered successfully now if you want to log in with that user you can log in here uh, as well as you can go to your uh, backend site and to the user side and just refresh this table and how can you refresh is uh, you, here, here we have an option to refresh uh, when you click on this icon you will be able to refresh this okay and here we have a username field so this is the username of this user 
I just logged in with it and this is the password so I'm going, I just copied the same password and copy. now you can see I can able to log in with this user uh, this user have an option now <clears throat> to search train and then book a seat okay there is an option to book a seat now 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 no. booking history is there so customer can check his booking history this is a new 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 user so we can't see any record over there my profile option change password and log out so now uh, search train is done uh, let me show you example of booking how the data will be displaying to the booking section so let's see this customer want to book a seat so click on the book and here you need to enter some information like how many passengers are there so they, let's say adult 2 and one child over there now uh, when this user click on the save the booking successfully done now if I go to the booking section I can see one record is there and with all the details if I want to cancel it I can cancel it here we have a uh, total amount uh, uh, total amount that is charged for this booking as well because when you see the train uh, there is available seat and these there is the price so according to the number of uh, members we are adding in while we are booking the tickets at that time it's calculating the price so total price will be uh, 5000 over there so okay and uh, booking is done my profile here this is a my profile page where user can update its profile let's say i want to update my profile my username okay so i'm gonna add patel at the last so i just save it and now submit it if you go to the profile now it will show you patel so for the change password let's say i want to change the password so i'm using this so how it will work let me show you just go to the password you have to enter your existing password create a new password so let's say i am entering demo at 123 <clears throat> just save it okay old password is invalid okay i did some mistake over there okay p is was missing so it's showing proper validation error okay if password is not valid showing the old password is not uh, is invalid so i uh, enter the valid password now and you can see its password is saved successfully i hit the logout so this is the one user uh, we have seen the journey of one user that is a customer now we are going to log in as an admin and see what admin can perform over there like admin also have some rights some special rights so admin can add the train details the user details and other things so i just enter username for the admin and the password for the admin and click on the sign in and when i go to uh, here uh, the header section i have a different options like i can, as an admin user i can see the train thing over there into train we have a two option to uh, add a train or get the list of train when i click to add train i can enter the name of the train here okay let's say i'm going to enter train train number let's say i'm going to enter any random unique number and rate means the price let's say 600 for each ticket and from which date it will start let's say i'm going to start uh, when this train will be scheduled so it will be scheduled today only and let's say from so i'm going to enter it mumbai uh, to pune and max seed was 56 let's say i click on save you can see data is saved or uh, successfully saved now and if i go here and into the list i have option i can see the stream detail over here if i want to uh, search a train uh, by name so i can go here <coughs> and i can filter the data reset it if i want to edit any data let's say i want to edit this record and update the price as a 500 so i can do that by clicking on this edit button and i updated the record and if i go to the list section again you will see this price is updated to 500 let's say if i want to delete it uh, here is the option i can check it and click on delete its data is deleted successfully so uh, this is for train module again booking module what admin have access admin can see the data is that added by the 
uh, uh, customers so recently we have done one booking with this okay uh, with 5000 price so it's showing over here and the my profile option again for admin as well and change password and log out so uh, this is a college project and use for academic use and this is a paid project so if you want the source code complete setup at your machine like we have services we provide the remote configuration it means we will connect with you by zoom and we'll do the complete setup at your uh, machine along with this project source code database and you will get one project report with dfd and er diagrams so if you want to it please connect to code one over the mail or whatsapp thank you